Pepe about to have a huge pullback in this market. If you're holding Pepe, you're going to want to watch this video. I'm going to bring you some analysis on Pepe. If it sounded interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Welcome back to Crypto Games for another video. I just want to show you what I see in Pepe's chart. It hasn't been out long. So we're dealing with sort of like four, no, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, maybe 10 days. How many days has this actually been out? We've got on the one, uh, the one day chart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, a bit more. Maybe a couple of weeks worth of action, right? And I've got up this uh, Fibonacci retracement level, which you can see here at the top is a 4.2 Fib extension. For those that are new, I'm going to make this very simple for you, help you understand what it is. Because some people look at analysis charts, look at people do analysis, and they don't really explain what they do. So this whole little rainbow, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, Fibonacci retracement levels basically gives us uh, uh, supports and resistance levels of price action. And usually we can see that in the chart. So for an example, if you look back in the past, you can see here from where I've joined it up, it got rejected on this green line here. This is the one, it's, it's classed as the one on the Fibonacci retracement. And you can see as time's gone on through price action, you can see it held support down here on the left. I'll just zoom it in so you can really understand, right? See some wicks here. So you can see some support levels, right? Like this, it's holding support here. And then if you come down in the future, you can see it you know, got rejected down here. That was considered its lowest price. So this is how people use the Fibonacci retracement to see where it, uh, it may get rejected or hold support. And you can look up here. As price comes up, it bounces up on this blue line, this pale blue line, which is the 702 retracement level, right? So this is what most technical analysis people uh, look for when they use this. And you can see right down here, it kind of held support on this red line, and then it shot up, right? So usually, with this kind of Fibonacci retracement level, prices usually extend right to the top of it before it sees a pullback. That's why I said to you in the start, you know, and it's in the, in the title, are we about to see, you know, Pepe crash or come falling down? Where would it fall to? What levels am I looking for? Well, I've got up, the, actually, tell you what, I'm going to delete this just to keep it clean, clean and simple. This is the 20 uh moving average but it's the four hourly it's the, on the four hour time frame so we're using the 20 moving average four hour time frame i would think that if pepe was to fall down in price it would come down and then touch this yellow line which right now this yellow line is at uh zero 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 uh, zero, 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 six zeros, nine. Is that right? Zero, 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 zero. Yeah, six zeros and a nine. But take a look at this as well. I've got up the RSI and the stochastic RSI because these speak of price movement, price momentum. Are we overbought? Are we oversold? Right? And again, four hour time frame because, you know, on, on, the, on the, the daily time frame, we don't have anything yet because it hasn't been uh, out long enough for us to give us enough uh, data on the RSI and the stochastic RSI, but we can see it on the four hourly time frame. So, and I also got the eight hour time frame up as well over here. Is this the eight hour? Yeah, so I'm going to show you this one as well because if for any reason we come down to this yellow line and we don't continue to bounce up, meaning if we break through it, because if you look at the RSI, right, this blue line. Uh, you can see we've pierced through this yellow line. We've come through these back into this zone here, this sort of bluish zone. Because, you know, anything that goes above this blue zone with the dotted lines is considered overbought. People have bought it too much, it's overbought. And then you can see when it comes down to this side, it's oversold. So now we've broken through back into this blue zone. It's very likely we could see this RSI start to come down slowly, you know, as it continues to make its move, right? Which will bring it oversold. And I, I would assume at some point it would do that. People will want to start taking profits. We've seen we've seen extreme euphoric euphoria action in Pepe. Everyone's been euphoria. You probably got your friend wanting to buy some. You probably hear like your neighbors buying some. That's a sign of euphoria. That's when smart money takes profits. So I just want to really make sure you you know you're paying attention to this. You can see over here uh, the stochastic RSI, which is the bottom one. I'll bring it up. Has already you know been selling off. It's showing sell pressure. I don't know how long this will stay down here for, but I want to uh, you know really pay your attention to this RSI because it's likely that it could come down. Will it go oversold? I don't know. Uh, time will tell as time goes on. But if the price pierces this yellow line up here this rsi uh, sorry this moving average and price action comes down and breaks through it 
where's the next level well you can see already let me just make you know this clear you can see already we've got some sort of support right here uh, and you can just see that through like resistances in the past that we've got this green candle that came up got rejected tried to you know break it again got rejected and then you know so this could be a, a support level that it comes down to and breaks and might see a little wick in it you know might come back above on this yellow line i don't usually do uh, four hour time frames because you know I'm a long term investor so I like to hold for the long term show you long term growth uh, long term charts but you can get a good insight as to what's going to come and you know sort of like in the next sort of maybe a couple of days maybe a, a week something like that but I do think that because of the whole Fibonacci levels and stuff and the RSI is being overbought I think we're going to see a little call off period for Pepe uh, if it breaks this yellow line it breaks this sort of support level here and, and that was a uh, zero 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 eight four or six zero eight four if it breaks all of that i'm looking here i'm looking on the eight hour time frame let me make this full for you so you can see this is the eight hour time frame it's very clean very simple so this is the eight hour chart on pepe this yellow line is where i would expect pepe to come falling down to if it was to fall in price you can see before when we saw price action break above it we saw this red line here, this red candle right here, when it fell down, you can see it came close to this yellow line, kind of held support on it and then went straight back up and then we saw price action come above, right? So it's likely that if we do see prices of Pepe fall down, I would expect it to come down to this yellow line. Now this yellow line is moving up. So at some point we might see this yellow line come up a bit more. Maybe this this price action falls down. But at the moment, you know, recording this video, if it was to happen, you know, over the next sort of 24 hours or, or next eight hours, <laughs> uh, you're talking zeros, six zeros and a six. So we might see Pepe come down to around six zeros and a six. And also pay attention to the RSI again on the uh, eight hour time frame. I'm going to make this blue so you can see it nice and clear, right? So taking a look real clean over here. Look how overbought uh, Pepe is on the eight hour time frame. You see right here, look, seriously overbought. Is it forming a bearish divergence as well? What is it you might ask? Well, let me show you. You can grab uh, some trend lines. Uh, let me just come back, uh, make it, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna th oh, <laughs> delete that, hold on. Uh, I wanted to show you price action alongside uh, the, the RSI. Let me just get rid of this volume. I don't need the volume right now. Uh, remove the volume here we go so if you take a look at the price action you have prices go making higher highs look higher highs and i draw it in, in a white line thick white line so you can see right and then you've got uh, the rsi which is this this line indicator here making that higher low so there's your high and then it's like it's slanted ever so slightly lower high you see what i'm saying so this blue line that might come up it might touch this and go lower so it's sort of like a bearish divergence it's like there's not much buy power kicking in now and you can also see on the stochastic rsi if i bring it in this um this one below you can see it's rolling over now on the eight hour time frame it's starting to sell we're seeing sell momentum kick in people are wanting to take profits they're waiting for a call off period and you're you know look, waiting to get like another buy in essentially so i would be looking at this yellow line here anything around zero zero six zeros and a six would be a good price to maybe consider dollar cost averaging and buying so hopefully this has helped you in your journey if it has drop that like give me a subscribe uh, i still think long term this is very very bullish i think that people are going to have a lot of excitement with this over the coming months uh, and i think people will uh, make some still has a chance to make some good money because i believe we're going to see pepe go to one billion uh, if you don't want to miss this stuff I tend to show patrons uh, alerts earlier. I can't even find my bloody patrons. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not prepared. Uh, I tend to show patrons uh, all my stuff early. So, you know, come over here. I've got seven tiers. Take your pick. My link is in the info section. Click it. Uh, become a patron. I've seen so many new patrons come on board this time. Shout out to you. Welcome in. Uh, I should have grabbed up my YouTube channel. <laughs> so i'm not prepared today uh on my youtube channel you can see i've been talking a lot about pepe over the last sort of week right so come and check it out pepe's got friends that have been exploding in price if you're new to the channel uh, we made a hundred and uh, i think I'm, it's gone up 180x in the space of two days or well, it ha actually happened within 24 hours me and my patrons made 150 times our money back just on land wolf alone so you've got brett here and you've got andy as well and these could potentially go the same way peppy did as well so you know pay attention to that uh, i'm gonna leave it here thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video cheers